All right, hello everybody. This is uh, Heraclius here. Today I'm gonna be bringing you uh, one versus one against my clanmate uh, Bobo, who is known as Bob, and he's playing as Carthage, obviously, and I'm playing as Macedon, and we do this matchup a lot. Like we've actually been doing this matchup, I think, for um, like five months, maybe more. Yeah, even more. But it's been a while, so from that time I have learned a lot, mostly as Carthage, because Macedon, it's a lot harder than Carthage, and I think you should, if you do this matchup, I think you should learn Carthage first. But anyway, this, it starts off as usual, you know, we go after the archers. And right here, I think he gets a little greedy with his cav and, um, or maybe he didn't expect this, I don't know. And I got lucky and I was able to take my, uh, take that unit out, take that cav unit out, and retreat my companions. And right here, uh, my positioning is pretty bad. Um, his is better. So I do a hammer and anvil, but it doesn't do that much damage. I actually lose a lot of cav units. What I probably should have done is gone after the slingers. Because when the game is really close, slingers and archers definitely win games for you. So, right here, I'm gonna uh, fix my position up a little bit better. But I'm also uh, watching out for my flank. Because he has units back here and right here he goes after my other archer unit I just mass cav charge him and it routes and I'm gonna have this one unit chase it down so it's pretty obvious even from the beginning I had a cav advantage and and I used it to the fullest extent he has the infantry and the Missile advantage, so he's gonna use that to his fullest extent as well. See right here, he's shooting my uh, cav. So right here, that my positioning's a little better. I uh, charge his sacred band. I do a more damage than I did in the first one. So some of his units are like down to 19, 20, um, 40. Oh, there's this one unit that's still like around with 70. So yeah. And what I really should have also done is poured in more uh, royal pikes right here, which I eventually do do, because this is where the this is the part of uh, my line that's thinnest. And I also have my archers right here shooting into the backs of the sacred band. Now I think I should have put them into tight formation and move them a little bit more over here so I can shoot them better. But it works out. Right here, I'm trying to sneak around my cab to uh, take some of these, take out some of these slingers. And so my positioning's pretty decent right now. I have some pikes flanking his pikes right here, and right here. Eventually, I move this unit to the side like this, so I can, you know, poke it with my longer spears. But right here, uh. He goes after this unit, so I'm going to have to uh, switch it. And right here, this archer unit is basically a cannon fodder unit because there's like no way I can last against four slingers. So I'm just going to let them die and take out a couple of them with me. Since I can't, since I lost the, um, what's it called? What would I call this? The archer or the slinger rush whatever yeah I lost that and right here I do a hammer and anvil and I kill a good amount of sacred ban but he does a nice uh, counter cab strike and routes my cab units but I think this one comes back one of them comes back and he gets rid of my archers right here so at this point in the game, I don't have any archers. 
right here I do another hammer anvil, which uh, I don't know if I should have done this one. Maybe I should have charged in right here. And also, um, a couple of the units that were here, they're like, a lot of them are dead. So, I can now, like, focus more of my units on this blob right here. So right here, I do a pretty nice calf charge right here. I, uh, kill his general. And I turn, like, pikes around right here because I thought he was going to charge. So, you know, they didn't route. But that was alright because I was able to route his slingers. Um, I don't kill them all because I'm, I'm still focusing on the infantry. Because that, that's what you really need to do as Macedon. In this matchup, you need to like sacrifice your cav on the infantry. Because there's no way you can win the infantry fight. Uh, just head on, you're gonna lose. And right here he goes for a cav strike, but I get there just in time with these pikes to kill a whole bunch of them. And see these units of like what eight routed all these uh sacred band. J just goes to show how good uh companion cav are with their uh, like charge bonus of nine. That's a really good charge bonus. And nice little charge right here on these slingers. And so right now, it's still, you know, it's really close. Um, he can still win this if he gets one really good charge. He'll, uh, he'll route all these pikes. That's why I had them like this, so that I could easily turn around. What I probably should have done is, like, gotten some and, like, surrounded this unit. But I was actually, like, I was thinking to myself, maybe I can just keep it like this so he doesn't push through right here. And right here, I don't know how this one unit of cav did not route. I just got really lucky right there. Oh, and I also still have my general alive. If this general is... If this general died, there was no way I could win this. Unless I got, like, really lucky. <laughs> so, you know, his, his slingers are still, you know, slinging away to my pikes. But all I have to do right now is just get a, one last charge, or not one last, but a couple of uh, cav strikes and then they'll route since they lost their general. Yeah, and I also turned around this unit right here because... I thought he was gonna do a cap strike. And right here, they routed, so I, you know, barely win. Um, you know, really good game to my opponent. Now I'm like 2 to 31 as Macedon. Because Macedon is really hard to use against Carthage. Carthage is definitely easier. Um, these are the battle statistics. So yeah, um,. Anyway, later today, I'll have a battle that was submitted to me by my clan mates, so go ahead and watch that as well after this if you want. Anyway, I'll see you guys later.